There are signs tonight that a ship carrying Tamil migrants is edging ever closer to the coast of Vancouver Island. And as it does, officials are putting the final touches on their preparations for the ship's arrival. A News has learned that Canada Border Service agents from across Canada are now traveling to B.C. to help process the migrants. And as those plans gear up, some wonder whether the government is doing enough to dissuade these boatloads of refugees from coming here in the first place. The question tonight, though, is when will the ship arrive and where? Stephen Andrew has the story. Canada is getting ready for more Tamil migrants expected to land in B.C. within days. Contemporary buildings being dropped at the Fraser Correctional Centre to planes at CFB Esquimalt believed to be on daily reconnaissance missions. The signs are all there. Officials are tracking the Tamil migrant ship. Canada Border Services Agency is prepped, ready to go. Even the legal aid system in British Columbia has uh, prepped up and the lawyers are on standby. The planning comes from experience gathered during a number of previous cases. Most recently, 76 Tamil migrants who arrived in Victoria last year. In 1999, about 600 Asian migrants arrived on the coast of Vancouver Island in four separate ships. Ottawa says border and marine security is a priority. The problem of human smuggling and illegal migration is a serious one. And the abuse of our immigration system is something that our government will not tolerate. But this former immigration and border agent, now a professor in justice studies, says with thousands of outstanding immigration warrants, Canada needs more resources. It's inconceivable that 500 people, 500 officers, could identify, locate, um, and deal with those over 45,000 people, let alone uh, boats full of, of more people who are going to enter the system. A number of those agents from across Canada are now on their way to help process the Tamil migrants now heading to B.C. Where they will land, officials aren't saying. But there is word their ship could land at a number of entry points. A dock near Comox, at Victoria's Ogden Point, or at CFB Esquimalt. But a source tells A News the migrant ship is more likely to land here in Victoria, whether at Ogden Point or CFB Esquimalt. The reason for that? Victoria has two trauma centers in case any of the migrants need emergency medical aid. And it would be from here that investigators would find it easier to stage any possible criminal investigation. And perhaps no one will be watching that landing more closely than the operators of two more migrant ships ready to set sail once they learn how officials accept or reject potential refugees. Stephen Andrew joins us now with more on the story. Stephen, among other questions are, are those about the cost of processing these migrants. Do we have any idea how much that's going to be? Well, Hudson, the government really doesn't really like to talk about that. Professor Sundberg from Calgary has put in a number of freedom of information requests, and he's received no answer. He says probably the best guess is fifty to $70,000 per person, and that does not include the cost of returning unsuccessful applicants, which could be in the millions. But immigration advocates say that's the cost of having a free and open democracy. All right, Stephen Andrew reporting. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome.